Hi there, Dr. Rajiv Ayer here. In this video, I am going to tell you all the available pathways for you to work as a dentist in the USA as a foreign trained dentist. Many of you dentists reached out to us, so I spoke to our dental expert on IMG Secrets. Plus, this information is based on many dentists I have spoken to over the years. And let's do this together. Option one is dental assistant. So the way this works is, let's say you're a foreign trained dentist. So you apply to individual dental clinics to work as a dental assistant. Now, if they like your application, then they would call you for an interview, usually a video interview or an in-person interview. And if you get selected, then that's fantastic. You can work as a dental assistant in one of the clinics. This is a paid job. So essentially you would be at what is called as a front desk, or in other words, reception, and you would be picking phone calls from patients, you would be explaining them about their appointments, about the procedures maybe, and you would know a lot about dental insurances, which is a huge complex topic of its own. This all with the training of the dentist who has hired you. These types of jobs are typically in a private clinic. So this essentially is a clinic owned by a single dentist, maybe a group of dentists who need a dental assistant, they hire you. And then the benefit for you is, it's going to give you acclimatized to the whole dental environment in the USA. And what happens after this is, many people just decide to function as a dental assistant for many years after that, or you could use this experience as a stepping stone to apply to become a fully licensed dentist through what is called as advanced standing dentistry. After which you would get a degree called DMD or DDS. Is this making sense? You see the difference. This is exactly opposite to how things work for an IMG. Now in my experience, these dental clinics do not sponsor any visa. You might be able to find one who does, but typically not. This is a great option for those foreign trained dentists who are on an EAD, green card, or US citizens. If you're one of this, and you wanna know how exactly to proceed with your application, you can go to www.imgsecrets.com and book an appointment with our dental expert today. And she's gonna guide you the exact steps you need to take so you become successful with your journey. On to option two, dental radiographer. This actually will get you a dental license in one of the states in the USA, so you can take dental radiographs. You might be thinking, I'm already a foreign trained dentist. I know how to take x-rays. No, this is not how it works. You have to enroll yourself in a course. You do get a license for this. Now this exam is governed by Radiology Technology Board of Examiners. There might be some state specific requirements depending on what state you want to do this in. Now, here is a secret. There is also an option of getting a dental radiograph license directly, just by continuing your clinical work as a dental assistant. If you need to know how exactly to do this, you can speak to our expert on www.imgsecrets.com. Is that making sense? On to option number three, which is dental hygienist. Remember, the pathways we're sharing with you is based on our own experience of seeing foreign trained dentists going through these pathways and then establishing a successful career in the USA. To become a dental hygienist, you have to pursue a formal education program. In other words, you enroll in a dental hygienist program, which is offered mostly as an associate degree, but you may be able to find a bachelor's or a master's degree. For you as a foreign trained dentist, it really doesn't matter which one you take, as long as you pick a path that is easy for your situation. The dental hygienist course involves in-person classes plus clinical work. They test subjects like anatomy, periodontics, ethics, patient management, and many other things that are more specific to the US dental care system. So you complete the course and then you pass the exam offered by National Board of Dental Hygiene. It's called the National Board Dental Hygiene Examination. Once you finish all this, then you would be a fully licensed dental hygienist in the USA and you can work pretty much in any clinic or any hospital that you would like at that point. So one thing to keep in mind in the USA is there may be some 
state specific requirements. So once you become a dental hygienist, here are some of the things you could do. You could continue practice as a general dental hygienist, or you could specialize in one of the dental hygienist papers, like become a pediatric dental hygienist or periodontal dental hygienist, you know, something more specific. Many foreign trained dentists continue to be a dental hygienist all through their life, or they may decide to use this experience to apply for advanced standing dentistry, which is going to get them either DDS or DMD, and then they become a fully licensed, independent practicing dentist in the USA. This is making sense. So you have these pathways that you can continue, or you can use these pathways to achieve the next step, which is becoming an independent dentist. Pathway number four is advanced standing dentistry. This is a huge complex topic and we can make many, many videos on this topic alone. But I'll keep this simple for you. Now, Advanced Training Dentistry is a program where foreign trained dentists get into one of the dental schools in the USA and they finish somewhere between two to three years of training, which involves in-person training plus hands-on clinical training and subsequently they finish the course and they become a fully licensed dentist in the USA. In our experience, this pathway is the most desirable pathway for most foreign trained dentists. Eventually, most of them want to complete advanced training dentistry. Now, the big difference between those graduates who are going through dental school in the USA and advanced training is the dental school here in the US runs for four years, but the advanced training dentist who are already foreign trained actually get into year two or year three of this program and they simultaneously work with the local graduates. At the time of me recording this, there are 42 dental schools that offer advanced standing dentistry in the USA, including one in Puerto Rico. The number of candidates they take every year is also widely variable. There is a school in Illinois that takes more than 50 students but on the other hand, there is a school in Florida which takes only two. From your perspective as a foreign trained dentist, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day as to which dental school you go to. Of course, the better the dental school is, the better it is for your career. There are many steps to get into this advanced standing dentistry. So once you finish your dental school and you decide to move to the USA, the first step you need to have is get your credentials evaluated. There are two organizations that offer this service. One is called the ECE. The other is the WES. Now, our dental expert had her credentials evaluated through ECE, which stands for Educational Credential Evaluators. Like how IMGs are expected to finish USMLE when they come into the USA. Similarly, you as a foreign trained dentist must complete an exam called NBDE, National Board of Dental Examination. Of course, if you're a dentist who is already interested in moving to the USA, you probably already know this. The other requirement is our expert recommends you complete both parts of NBDA because this puts you in a very nice position when you're applying to these programs. The next thing you need to complete is an English test, which commonly is a TOEFL. All right, now once you're ready with all this, you start applying through the ADA CAPIT portal to individual programs. You're expected to have your letters of recommendation there. And then once the program likes you, they would call you for an interview. Now this could be an in-person interview or this could be a video call interview. Our expert had her interview through a video call. Once the program likes you, they might decide to take you. Remember, some of the programs may also have a clinical skills assessment where you have to do some hands-on work to demonstrate your proficiency in dentistry. Many people do stress about this, but you can book an appointment with our expert on www.imgsecrets.com to know all the secrets of how you can be successful with your CAPIT application. All right, so once the program decides you're a fantastic candidate and they want to have you, they would send you an acceptance letter. This happens to you, congratulations, this is a big step. Now the next important thing is, you have to show proof of finances because <laughs> these programs are quite expensive. You would pay the program to undergo this training 
because this is considered equivalent to dental school or BDS in India and other countries. Is this making sense? So you must have a proof of funding. This is a separate topic for a video on its own as to how to go about getting funding. All right, so you complete the necessary course and uh, let's say you graduate from your advanced standing dentistry. Congratulations, you would be awarded either a DMD or a DDS based on whichever school you're graduating from. Either degree would let you practice as an independent dentist in the USA. At that point, you can decide whether you want to establish your own private clinic or you want to work in a university hospital or you want to undergo further postgraduate training, for example, in periodontics, pediatric dentistry, oral surgery, and many other specialties that's available in the USA. Now, the fifth pathway I want to mention is what is called as the postgraduate pathway. So essentially, you apply for postgraduate training directly without having a DDS or a DMD in the USA. Now, this could be post-graduation in um, periodontics, oral surgery, prosthodontics or anything. Now, the things I've heard about this is people have been successful in getting this. However, the license the dentists get in these pathways are restricted to that particular state. Let me give you an example. Let's say you be successful in getting a post-graduation in the state of Pennsylvania. You finish your post-graduation, then you get a license, but that license wouldn't let you practice outside the state of Pennsylvania. So to me, it's a bit of a gamble because then you're restricting yourself in terms of where you can practice and what all things you can do. Uh, this might be an option for many dentists, but to know your exact pathway, as to what is best for you, we recommend booking an appointment with our dental expert at www.imgsecrets.com where you can discuss your situation and get exact guidance on the next steps. There are a few other pathways that foreign trained dentists have taken. They have gotten into research, they have tried to get into pharmaceutical industries and these are a lot more harder and they don't have an established pathway for these things. Eventually, whatever you decide, you have to come up with a really strong application. Whether you're applying for a dental assistant, dental radiographer, dental hygienist, advanced standing, you need a professionally made CV, an outstanding recommendation letters, personal statement, and make your package look really nice. Here, I have a video where I've explained whether a CV or a resume is better for your application. So I encourage you to take a look at that and then as I said, if you have any questions, if you need to know how to be successful with your journey, I recommend you book an appointment on www.imgsecrets.com. Any questions, post in the comments below. We try to get back to you as soon as possible. Take care, stay safe. We will talk to you soon.